Welcome to NYMU, New York Medical University. To all the applicants that recently got accepted, I would like to congratulate you guys. Uh, to all the new applicants who have recently applied or about to apply, I wish you guys the best of luck. Um, I would like to give you guys a little tour of our campus here. I'd like to welcome you guys to the student lounge here on campus. Uh, this is where all the students will come together to meet up, to hang out, uh, grab a bite to eat, get their studying done. Um, this is where a lot of the presentations, a lot of the events will be hosted as well uh, from the faculty members, from the students. Uh, they're all able to book the room to host the events. Um, it's open from 9 in the morning till 9 in the evening. All right, you guys, now we're inside the center hallway. This is where some of the lecture halls and labs are located. Uh, looks like the students just finished up one of their classes. I believe they had a microbiome exam. And by the looks of it, you and her friend did very well, so that's always good. The nice thing is the exams are normally Monday morning, which will give the students uh, that weekend to prepare every hour, every X hour helps. And now the moment that everyone waits for after the exam, trying to figure out which questions they got right. <laughs> I hope those guys aren't coming in right now, otherwise I'd say they're pretty late for class. <laughs> and it looks like these students are heading to the computer lab, so let me go ahead and show you real quick. Alright, I'd like to welcome you guys to one of the computer labs here on campus at Broad. Uh, this is where a lot of students will come to get their research papers done um, on various topics, especially if they're catching up on lectures that they missed uh, from classes, um, or just to kind of research on topics for upcoming exams. Uh, this is it's pretty nice. It's normally open until later, uh, probably past midnight. Um, it's normally pretty open. A lot of people come together, get their papers done, homework done. So it's good to get. And right next to the computer lab is a library, so let me show you guys that as well. So right now we see the students, they're all studying. I believe they're getting ready for their oral presentation in uh, pharmacology. So it's nice, it's open space, um, easy to get a lot of work done here. Uh, so it's very beneficial for the students. All right, now before I show you guys the main lecture room, let's go and follow these senior students to the other side of the library. Uh, now they're currently in their fourth and fifth semesters here, so they're studying for their board exams, US Emily Step 1. Uh, it's nice that they're doing a group study session, so I won't disturb them right now. So welcome to the most important room here on campus, the lecture room. Uh, this is where all the lectures will be uh, held, hosted, uh, from pathology, microbiome, all your tough classes, you name it, it's going to happen here. Uh, my best recommendation is to get here early, because all the seats up front go by real quick. Uh, a little pro tip, make sure you guys take all the notes you can from the professors, uh, take them well. The nice thing is the classrooms are so open after lecture, so it gives the students a nice additional place to study, uh, to form groups, to get group studying done. Alright, now let's head over to the main hallway, uh, leading towards the student dorms. Alright you guys, now we're in the main hallway of the school. Uh, as you can see on both my right and left are uh, additional classrooms. So whether you're taking pre-med classes or pre-clinical classes, you'll have classes in those lecture halls. Um, if you walk straight, this will lead towards the, the outside of campus, leading us directly to um, the student dorms. Uh, the nice thing is, as you guys will see in just a moment, it's within walking distance. Uh, it's, it's great in terms of saving time, uh, for safety, security, uh, it is very convenient as well. So as you can see on my left, the school building is equipped with both the fire extinguisher and the fire hose. So it's nice to know that it meets all the standards and safety. And now here we are outside of campus, right in front of the student dorm building. 
and as you can see in front of me the student housing on campus it's huge um, definitely it's a better bet in terms of living off of campus in terms of saving money uh, right there in front of us is a building that we just came back from the campus that's where all the lecture halls the library is located um, and again this is the the student housing building on campus and if you guys decide to have a car during your time here uh, at school the nice thing is on campus there's private parking uh, specifically for students uh, the nice thing is the entire campus is under 24-hour surveillance both inside and out uh, it's very secure very safe uh, right there in front of us is the the main lobby and on the left is the security desk all right, and now there's a room upstairs that's empty that I'd like to show you guys that I give you an idea how the dorms are set up. So normally there's going to be two or three beds. Um, for students who do want to have their own room, uh, you are able to request that. Uh, you'll see that there's a TV, TV stand, dresser. So it's like a nice setup as if you're like in, a, in your own home. Um, you have a lot of privacy, built-in bathroom inside the room. Um, all the amenities that you you need all right and from here let's head back to campus that way I can show you guys the anatomy lab all right guys so welcome to the anatomy lab that we have here on campus this is where you guys may be working on your uh, cadavers uh, definitely give you a better understanding of anatomy um, by that you better understanding of the geology as well um, it definitely helps with taking the theory that we all learn from our lectures uh, and apply that to uh, practical settings uh, pro tip, make sure you guys don't eat before the lab, definitely afterwards. And here's the biology and chemistry lab. Uh, students are only allowed here during lab hours with the professor because the school does take safety standards really seriously. My time here at New York Medical University has let me develop the skills and knowledge of medical sciences. Uh, the experience that I actually have helped me grow as an individual and as a future physician. All right, before we head to the city, just want to show you guys the soccer field and the indoor gym that we have on campus. All right, now we're going to be heading into the city uh, using the van transportation that they offer. Uh, it's very inexpensive, uh, so it's, it's definitely a good uh, option to go around places. The nice thing is the, the, where the campus is located, it's in a central location. So a lot of things are very close by, for shopping center, the mall, um, places to visit. Alright you guys, now I'm standing um, outside on the bridge dividing in between the two cities. Uh, the nice thing is we're probably 5-10 minutes away from campus. Uh, on both sides you'll find uh, major restaurants, McDonald's, KFC, uh, a lot of shopping centers, high-end uh, stores as well. Alright you guys, now we're inside the supermarket in the city. Um, everything's up to the US standard. Um, in terms of products, so everything's safe, everything's well preserved. Uh, for the people who only have eat kosher, they do sell kosher meat here as well. Um, so anything that you need, you'll be able to find here at the supermarket. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the school. Um, I'll be heading back to Chicago tomorrow. Uh, so when I'm there, I'll make sure to take some videos of uh, the medical district and uh, some of the hospitals where the students are able to uh, do their rotations at where I did my rotations there as well. Um, so yeah, uh, can't wait to see you guys there. Alright, in front of us is one of the hospitals where the students are able to do their rotations. So let's go inside and check it out. Alright, now we're inside the outpatient center in one of the examination rooms. Uh, this is where the attending doctor is able to give uh, the students their medical training during their rotations. Alright, this is one of the important rooms for the students, the, the lab. Uh, this is where they'll be able to run the blood chemistry, urine chemistry, uh, compute all the lab values, and input it into the system. Uh, this will definitely help them with their medical license exam.
All right, next here we're able to do echo, ECG. Uh, this is going to be for the cardiac patients, so we can end up assessing them here, um, as well as do uh, stress tests with them as well. All right, and then in the next room we have the open MRI as well. Um, I'm trying to get this video made for you as quick as possible because we're not allowed to uh, film with patients inside and they're, they're waiting to come in. So I'm going to wrap this up real quick so that way you guys can see everything. see the CT machine. Uh, the physician, the doctors on staff will be able to train you how to use the machines properly because uh, some machines do go up to like two three million dollars in cost uh, so it's good to know how to make sure that you handle them properly. Right, also in the outpatient center they do have uh, sleep labs as well. Um, that way it's a, it's a great way to partake in their uh, research study that they offer. Hey Omar, nice to see you again. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Um, I'm about to go to rotations actually, I live pretty close. So. Right. That's on the south side of Chicago, right? Okay, next. Yeah. Which rotation? Uh, right now surgery. Surgery, huh? Very nice, very nice. How do you like it? It's, it's tough, but yeah, it's not too bad. I think, um, I don't know if I would probably do surgery, but I mean, it's it's interesting. It's very interesting. Okay, you know what? I'm making a video right now to, for the new students so they can get an idea what to expect when they start the school in terms of rotations, um, what to expect, especially when they come here. Um, so what I'm planning on doing is if it's okay with you, can I come to your hospital um, and kind of make a video over there? Okay. Next, okay, you'll be doing a lot of people a favor. All right, I'll yeah. do that. Awesome. Are there other students coming with you too? Uh, about about three people. So, how many other students are coming with you today? It's only one person coming. All right, so I'll see you guys there then. Hey guys, can I stop you for a quick interview I'm doing for the new students? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Looks like you guys are pretty tired, huh? Yeah, all night. Long night? Yeah. Looks like you guys haven't rested yet. Very true. So which rotation are you guys doing right now? General surgery. General surgery. General surgery. Nice. Do you yeah, guys like it? Know. It's it's really intense. It's intense. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely intense. I, I recommend. A couple books. Yeah, I recommend you prepare yourself before you go. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't make my mistake and just be like, oh no, don't worry, I got it. It's a lot easier to follow what they're doing. Yeah. when you have some idea, right? So yeah. Brush up your skills, guys. This is serious stuff. Yeah. When you I'm... see those bloods and stuff. <laughs> it's a standing. It's a lot of standing. <laughs> yeah, the worst part is the standing. Yeah, but it's it's a lot. Of, you learn a lot, and it's it's intense, and you're always like on your toes, and always have to think and stuff. Yeah. There, are, there are moments where um, I mean, this is our second where, week now, right? And, like, yeah, we've already seen week, so much. Yeah. So. So would you guys recommend NYMU to other students? Definitely, absolutely. absolutely. It's a lot of work, guys. You have yeah. to be serious about what you're doing. Exactly. Right? Like, if you're willing to put in the time, you're going to be rewarded. Yeah. Actually, I could have said it better than that. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. It's, it was a good experience. And just make sure you catch up on your sleep now, because once you get in here, you're going to be losing some of it. But it's worth yeah, it. Yeah. It's worth Look it. Look at the bags on your mind. All right, guys. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> you know, Illinois. We're about to do some, uh, a couple of surgeries today on hand. One of them is a hysterectomy that's going to be done. It's our first hysterectomy we get to see for myself and all as well. We're going to be removing ovarian tumor as well for our patients. So, you know, a lot of opportunities here at NYMU. Looking forward to it. All right, so thank you.
guys. I hope this was helpful. I thought this would help because when I started here at NYMU, I didn't have anything like this to show me what to expect. Um, I did this for you guys to have a good understanding and a tour of everything from the basic sciences and carousel to the clinical rotations here in the United States. Um, I did all my rotations in Chicago and the students are given many options to, uh, where to go for their rotations. Uh, now you guys have a complete picture of how the medical journey looks like here at New York Medical University. All the facilities, the campus, and everything it has to offer. Um, I thought this would be helpful, that's why I did this for you guys. Hopefully this did help. Um, definitely take advantage of it. It's a great school. I would recommend it highly for you guys.